Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you about uh, window manipulation methods in uh, new technologies. So those methods can be used in new applications to control uh, the window properties, uh, basically change the window properties. So uh, to demonstrate those uh, features, uh, I created new uh, project using new CLI and I op opened the application using uh, new run command. Here I have uh, two windows now, uh, one is my application, the sample application and on the right side I have the dev tools window. In the dev tools window I am going to execute some window manipulates and uh, methods uh, to de demonstrate uh, those features. So first of all we are going to check with uh, how many methods are there in uh, under the window uh, namespace uh, on uh, Neutrino.js uh, library. So if we check uh, neutrino.window we get the keys of uh, the namespace so we can see several methods uh, there are 15 uh, methods that we can use for window manipulation let's try the first one which is uh, set title for the set title method uh, we can pass the title uh, that need to be used in the window Currently the title is window test uh, which is coming from the config uh, file. So if I set a uh, new one, so I can call like this. Now we can see the title is changed, right? We can set another title as well. So it is working fine. And the second function is a maximize function that can be used to maximize uh, your window. So let's try that one also. So if I call it uh, the window is uh, maximized now. So there is another useful function to check whether the window is uh, maximized or not. Let's try that one is uh, with uh, await because we need to get the boolean value of the window status. That one is called is maximized. It will uh, return whether the window is maximized or not. In the current case it is maximized. So we have through here. We can restore the uh, window using window dot uh, unmaximize. It will restore uh, the window into the previous state. If we check the window status, now we will get the false uh, as the return value because window is now uh, not maximized. Next, uh, we are going to check uh, minimize method. This method basically minimizes the window into the dock in Ubuntu. So we are going to try the next method uh, which is set full screen. You can use that method uh, to uh, uh, set the full screen mode of, uh, for your uh, window. Let's try to call that one also. Using this uh, particular method, we can enter full screen mode like this. There's another helpful function to check the full screen status of the window. That is ease full screen method. We need to use that one uh, with uh, await as the previous. Uh, is maximize uh, method. Now that particular method will return true because window is in uh, full screen mode. We can restore the full screen mode using uh, exit full screen method. So this uh, exit full screen method basically restores the window into the previous uh, uh, state if, if the window was in uh, full screen mode. 
now we can rerun the is full screen method again now we, uh, that one will return false because window is restored now let's check the next method uh, which is show before show i am going to show you hide because currently window is visible now i am going to try hide method to hide the window basically this hide method uh, will hide the window now window is hidden we can check the visibility of the window using uh, is visible method is visible method also return uh, uh, boolean value if we use uh, with the uh, await keyword let's try to call is visible method we need to use await now it is a uh, returning false because window is not visible at the moment let's try to show the window now the window is hidden you can call show method to make the window visible now the window is visible right let's try to call the is visible method again it should return true right now we are going to try uh, focus method the focus method basically uh, focuses the window if uh, the window is uh, in blur mood so uh, now window is blurred right uh, i am having another window on top of the uh, my application now if i run uh, focus method my application should come over the other windows right now it works right next we can try the move method a uh, move method uh, can be used to move the native window uh, for given x y values if we call window dot move method we need to give two parameters the first parameter is the x value and the second parameter is the y value a neutrino j is coordinate system we start from the top left corner of your screen so this uh, corner top left corner is the 0 0 x 0 and y 0 position so we need to uh, give some x y value compared to that uh, top left corner right so let's tell neutrino j is to move this uh, native window into uh, x 400 and uh, y 200 uh, position now it is moved into this uh, position right so if we uh, move this window again to zero zero position it means the top left corner then it will be moved into the top left corner right now we are going to look into the last uh, method which is this set uh, draggable region this method is recently added to enable uh, uh, the draggable region feature so you can define some draggable region uh, uh, in uh, your application so that uh, region can be used to uh, move your window for an example if you need to make some custom title bar you can use this uh, set draggable region to uh, make your title bar draggable in next video i am going to uh, give uh, some detailed explanation of uh, this one i am going to explain how you can build a custom title bar using neutrino.js uh, this draggable uh, region method but right now let's uh, try to run this method uh, to see how it works we can call neutral in a window set draggable region as the parameter we need to enter a DOM element ID uh, some kind of a DOM element ID that you need to make uh, draggable right now I am going to use uh, this element uh, this uh, main div which is uh, neutral in our app uh, DOM element so this whole region uh, will become uh, draggable if I execute this method let's try to use uh, the DOM ID the DOM ID is a neutral you know, app now this region is not draggable right we cannot uh, drag uh, the whole window using uh, by dragging this uh, DOM element but if I execute this one 
now the window becomes draggable right but we are not recommending to use that uh, draggable region with the native tile bar that can be used to uh, uh, create some custom uh, title bars without the uh, native title bar right for an example if i rerun the application uh, without uh, the native title bar i'm going to stop the application i stop the application to edit the config file because i need to remove the native title bar so if i open this uh, config file we have this uh, property borderless is now false uh, which means now we have the native title bar but uh, right now uh, we are not uh, going to use the uh, native title bar let's assume, let's assume that we are going to implement some custom title bar for that uh, we need to set this borderless property to uh, true I am going to rerun the application now we don't have any uh, native title bar right let's try to execute that uh, previous uh, function call set draggable region with the same id so this uh, whole region becomes draggable now now it works smoothly right now we tried all existing window manipulation methods so you can uh, give a try uh, by creating maybe sample applications in next video i'm going to show you how you can create custom title bars using this set draggable region method and also using other window manipulation methods like uh, maximize minimize unmaximize likewise see you in next video